Hey guys, P9 here, and welcome back to Destiny. And we've had major news. Bungie's reveal stream was yesterday, and it was amazing. We finally know what's coming. We know it is definitely the Rise of Iron, and we know what enemy we are going to be facing. As I said in a previous video, it is the Fallen, but these aren't just regular Fallen. I'll bring up a picture on screen right now. As you can see, they're more like cyborgs. They are the House of Devils and they modified themselves basically be loud. That's pretty much it. We also got a trailer drop as well. This was leaked before the stream, several hours before for a Snapchat ad. But their trailer is just awesome. I'll leave a link in the description so you can watch it. I'll have some clips playing now, screenshots, etc. But it was great. I mean, we've seen the new social space which is coming, which is known as Fell Winter's Peak. It seems that, well, it's on top of a mountain, there's a temple with area inside, like a shrine to the Iron Lords. As well as this new social space, we have a new area which everyone thought was going to happen. It had to happen really, otherwise it wouldn't be a very good DLC. But we know this as the Plaguelands, which sounds just cool in itself. This area is located on Earth, so it's the first time we're going back to a planet and expanding on it. It just sounds great, and I can't wait to play it. All I can say is, is Bungie, why you no give this to me now? Please, I need this. As you probably know already that this DLC is focused around the Iron Lords, hence the name Rise of Iron. We focus around Lord Saladin being the last of the Iron Lords. And we finally get to see his face. I did not expect him to look like that. I mean, he, he walks around with a whole pack of wolves. That's just cool. I don't care what anyone says. If you can just have walk around with a pack of wolves for the hell of it, you're a legend. Speaking of Lord Saladin, we see him in the promotional art I showed you last time, or you've seen around the internet, that he was carrying a giant axe. And finally, we know that it's playable. I mean, everyone was thinking, oh, look, it's a new exotic. But no, it's another relic, like the shield in the Vault of Glass, the sword in Crota's End, etc. Scorch Cannon, you name it. But it's one of those weapons. Apparently, you can find them just lying around in the world, probably from an enemy carrying one or something, like the Scorch Cannon with the wolves and that. But Bungie almost confirms that it's in a level. You have to use it to play a level. And... Which brings us on, is this the relic we are going to see in the raid? If so, good job Bungie. I always wanted a giant flaming axe in a raid. It just sounds fun. And yes, I know that sounds sarcastic, but I'm genuinely excited for that. It's just my voice. My voice is just naturally sarcastic, so there's a lot of things that sound like sarcasm, which aren't. Which does get annoying when you're trying to be serious, but it doesn't matter. In the trailer, we also see this thing, what looks like what's causing the plague. It looks familiar, it looks like Rasputin, so it could be a war mine they found, we don't know. But if that is what's causing the plague, it's going to be very interesting to go into the Golden Age technology with the war mines, etc. It looks like this is underground, so maybe you will get a cave system similar to the moon, like we've got the surface and then we've got the high fortress. I'm hoping for that, it'd be very nice to explore surface area and all these caves again. I'm assuming that's where the raid will take place, but we do have an image of the raid starting outside, I believe, because it starts on the wall and the way this is, the Fallen were digging on the ground to find technology or something, they found that war mine, not entirely sure of the story yet, but that's along the line, so I'm assuming it will be going down into the cave system in the raid, probably starting on the top of the wall, which I'll show an image here. And it's just like a giant wall of hate. It's amazing. I don't know what it is, but I want one. Please, can I just have one of those? And no video would be complete without me mentioning this. Our old friend, the Gowerhorn, it is back. And also in black. But only if you pre-order, it's a quest line you get given where everyone will have it, but the people who pre-order will get a chance of getting the black Gowerhorn. And... People without pre-ordering get the normal Gatlehorn. They both do the same thing, just one is going to look black, one is just going to look the normal colours. Personal preference, I'm assuming even if you pre-order you can get the normal version from the kiosk or something. But either way, the Gatlehorn is back. 
It's obviously not going to be as powerful as we remember in year one. Still going to be a great weapon. Love it. I need it back. I miss using it. It's been a whole year since I've used it. And it, it's just time for it to come back. And with this, I believe all of the um, exotic weapons we haven't got, such as the Fawn, Icebreaker, Pocket Infinity, will be coming back. Maybe not the raid exclusives like the Necrochasm and the Vex, but I hope so because I miss using those weapons. Necrochasm no one really got to use until it was buffed in 2.0, but then that gun was really light level wasn't very good. Anyway, that's it guys from me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more stuff. I will be reporting as much as I can when information gets out. E3 is just around the corner. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm usually active there. You can come talk to me. Questions you have, or leave them in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time.